10 years ago, my brother and his wife adopted two children from the Ukraine. And he told me that for years after they adopted them, the children would eat too much during meals and feel anxious and restless in between meals because they weren't fed well at the orphanage. So they lived with this constant anxiety that they weren't gonna get enough food to eat. It took years for them to develop a trust in my brother and his wife. Well, I wanna propose to you that you and I are like my niece and nephew, that the reason that we're working too much is that we don't yet trust God with our future. And so we take on more work than we can handle. And when we do more work than we can handle for too long, we get burned out. And when we keep going, when we're burned out, the engine starts to overheat and the wheels of the car start to fall off. And that's where we're all at right now. We've been going and going and going even after burnout. But I wanna to propose to you that, that this stress and this mistrust of God is understandable. Just like my niece and nephew's mistrust of my brother and his wife is understandable. It's actually really hard to trust God, even if you're a devout Christian. It's the basic human condition and has been since Adam and Eve to distrust God, to mistrust his goodness and his provision. The author Anne Helen Peterson says that the number one cause of working too much and therefore burnout is this uncertainty we have about the future. We're afraid. We're afraid that what if God doesn't provide for us? We're afraid, what if we don't get enough? And if no one is there to provide for us, then we need to take matters into our own hands, literally. And it's always been this way for humanity, even and maybe especially with the people of God. God had to command the Israelites to stop working, to take a break from work one day out of every week because of our human propensity to mistrust God and believe that the future is up to us. The Sabbath was an opportunity for the Israelites to build their faith in God. It was an exercise in trust. God said, look, I'm gonna make bread fall from the sky six days out of the week. And on the sixth day, I'm gonna give you a double portion so that on the seventh day, you can take a break. You can catch your breath and enjoy life. Now this group of Israelites had maybe the most vivid experience of God in human history. They saw God perform all his miracles in Egypt. They saw him part the Red Sea. They saw him settle on Mount Sinai in fire and smoke. They saw him rain down bread from heaven. And yet they still had a propensity to gather too much on the sixth day, more than their share, or go out and look for bread on the Sabbath. They didn't trust God. But for us today, it's way beyond not being able to take a day off. We've taken overwork into hyperdrive. Working too much used to just be working every day, working seven days out of the week. But humans still got some rest because we were limited to the 12 hours or so of sunlight that we had every day. And we had to put the shovel down when it got dark outside. Well, then we invented the light bulb and now people could work through the night. But even with the light bulb, humans still got some rest because information and people took a while to travel. But now with the advent of planes and cars and the internet and email and our smartphones, we can now ring every minute out of every day for work. Today, our phones and therefore our work follows us into the bathroom. We can't even take a bathroom break in peace. Human beings have likely never experienced the level of overwork that we experience today. And I believe it's only gonna get worse. Our society still believes that technology will save us, that we're making progress in human history, but it's false. Technology is allowing us to tighten our own noose. Life in the first world today has at the same time gotten a lot more comfortable and a lot more miserable. Now, I understand that you might chafe at that statement and say that, oh, well, technology is not evil. 
It's just a tool. And God has allowed us to do so many amazing things through technology. And we just need to have proper boundaries on technology. Well, I'll speak to that specific question at the end of the course in the Q&A video. But for now, let me just close this video by saying this. The answer, the solution to stress and overwork and burnout and anxiety is learning to grow our trust in God. And growing our trust in God is all about cutting back, doing less, enjoying God's creation, delighting in His provision, and most importantly, doing less work, even good spiritual work. God's got it. He's got you. So trust Him. It's not necessarily about reading your Bible more or adding to an already too long spiritual to-do list. It's about acting on what you already know about God from the Bible. You know everything that you need to know, that God is good, that He's provided for us in the past through His Son, Jesus Christ. So through Jesus, we can know that God is good. We know that He will continue to take care of us. And so we can trust Him with our future. But here's the thing though, when you've built a lifelong habit of trusting yourself or entrusting in things like success to bring you what you want in life, you can't all of a sudden flip a switch and just trust God. No, it's gonna require exercising your faith and growing those muscles of trusting God. And that's what we're gonna learn how to do in the rest of this course.